What is up guys, Sonnet here and we are finally back to Undertale. I could not record the past couple weeks or one week to be more exact because, well, uh, logistical reasons that I will not expand upon. So, um, we're finally back at it and I am going to continue with our peaceful playthrough, it looks like. Really means the town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Politics. Uh, what did I do last time? I forgot what I did last time. Did I already fight Papyrus? I think I did. Not sure. Yeah, I did. I already have fought him. So I guess we're gonna continue. Come on. Yep, yep, I was correct. Okay, so we'll be entering the waterfall. I still don't see the purpose of those ice cubes, but let's see that they go up. Yep. It's interesting. Hello, monster kid. Yo! I was thinking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I wanna be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> uh, this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing I had heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing I heard over and over. Uh, can I go to the door? No. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yes. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Let's go. Over here. I know a shortcut. A shortcut that I never found. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greeting, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Uh, Sans. Aren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in the, uh, at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. But I'm tss. Here, get comfy. Again with the whoopee cushion. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes readers put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do we want? I want, uh, fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Boobies. We'll have a double order of fries. Last time I ordered a burger, I think. So, what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool. It'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Fries! Here comes the grub! Want some ketchup? No. More for me! What the fuck? He really likes ketchup. <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to agree that Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was, it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. And everything froze. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the pirates told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, 
A flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, prediction. I would think this would change considering Flowey is sorta of dead. I don't know, maybe he's not, he just didn't appear at the start. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Are we done? Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. Sure. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Legit, can I eat the fries? Oh. I already left the seat. Damn it. Where, where did they take the shortcut? F fucking. How I probably. I don't, I don't. I don't fucking care even. Just. Just let me. Let me out. Let me out or let me in. There's a pirate flag that I did not notice earlier. <laughs> Let's go back to the waterfall. Back to the waterfall we go. And I don't know what the fuck I'm singing, but... Oh, that's just crystals. Crystals. Hello, sons. Sons. Let's sing that again sometime. Let's save. Son of rushing water fills you with determination. Wee! This is a box. You can put an item in, in the box or take it out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Yes. Uh, what do we not want? I think we, we leave these here. Oh! I derped. Wait, did I go here last time? I guess I must have because there's no other way. Oh well. Let's cont- oh. Oh shit. Now, uh, in this scene, uh, in a genocide run, I wonder what would happen. <laughs> Hi, Undyne! I I'm here with my daily report! Uh -huh. Regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, well no. I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You were going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them, you see. You see... Hmm. <laughs> I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Bitch. Bitch, please. Impel me if you can. Nope. Lol. How did you even do that, you fish? Okay. Um. Monster kid. Yo! Did you see that way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to gather attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Ouch. Poor kid. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Okay. Bridge flowers, thank you. 
No monsters. What? Oh my god. How did I fuck this up? How could I? Here we go. Aaron flexes. Ah, uh, flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increased for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Ow. Ow. I, I still suck at dodging. <laughs> Considering I haven't played for like two weeks even. Okay, calm down. Flex. Flex. Aaron flex very hard. Flex himself out of the room. You won! 30 gold, yes. Okay, so there's this, which I missed last time. One. Two. Come on. Three. Oh my god. And last one. Now we go here. This is something I overlooked or like did not know about. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Take it. You got the abandoned quiche. Oh, it wasn't a box. Oh, I'm so stupid. Info. Abandoned quiche. Heals 34 HP of psychologically damaged. Spinach egg pie. Uh, what if I <laughs> drop it? You leave the quiche on the ground and tell it you'll be right back. Okay. I don't need it anyway. I just I, I just knew this will happen, so I did it. Yeah. Uh wonder if this will work. Oh well. Okay, I guess that's um, no. Actually that's the only way to I could send it from here, like but I guess that's another way. I don't know. Whatever works, works. Not much else to say. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number as se sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a gross bandage. Is that true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? Uh, I'll say no. So you aren't wearing a gross bandage. I got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Uh, what am I wearing anyway? So if I said yes, he will tell uh, Undyne what I'm wearing. So if I say no, he would probably, I don't know, clean. Wash your, wash your please. Ow, ow, mate. Bye. Too hard. Um. What is here? Nothing, huh? Do I have any... No healing items. Shit! Let's just do that. Oh man, this isn't gonna end well. This is where I run from Undyne! Hello, Undyne. Mate, mate, oh god, I'm dead, I'm so fucking dead. So dead, uh, uh, I find it interesting, like not interesting, I find it weird by the way, I just realized that 
if I get uh, defeated, let's say, my soul breaks rather than uh, the monster collecting it, I think it would be uh, pretty cool if... Oh, there was a checkpoint. I think it would be pretty interesting if, like, every, whatever uh, boss kills me, I mean, if a regular monster defeats me, then that my soul breaks, sure. That would make sense, but if a boss monster or a story crucial monster defeats me, there should be like a little scene thing showing the monster getting my soul and doing whatever it would do. Like, for example, uh, if I get defeated by Metaton, he would uh, like become some super form me metaton or something because he wants to take the soul for himself, or and I would bring it to Asgore, I guess. I don't know, just just a thought. That dagger, though. Oh, it's not a dagger, it's the hand. Derp. Hey, monster kid. You okay? Yo! Did you see that? And they just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you're standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. If I was standing a little bit more to the left, I'd be fucking dead, mate. Or would have to battle Undyne per Whatever. Squeak. Yeah. Yeah, we'll never extract the crystal, the cheese from the crystal. Hello, sons. It's an odd looking telescope. I'm thinking about letting. Uh, I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G's to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? In the telescope? No. Well, come back whenever you want. Oh, I thought you'd gonna be. You'll be a sore loser. Come on. I'm thinking about getting into the Tesco business, normally 50g, 50k, yep, yep, since I know you can use it for free, it's just a fucking prank, man. Oh, oh, whatever, I don't need the fucking red spot, you know what, use the box, yes, okay, so box and inventory. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Hello, an ice cream guy. Sure. Can I buy it? Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you get to take a punch card from a box if you have trade cards. You can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Uh, I'll get... One... Two. I need healing items anyway. Three, and I get exactly three spots left, so that's good. Oops. Give me two bugs in the box. We're playing a three card game. Take a card, take. All games must end one day. You got a punch card. The box contains two cards. Yes. Can I give you my punch cards? Yes. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the, the duck is over there, supposedly. Dun 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 That's the siren song I believe the Shiren song. 
Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, I a friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you are not wearing a gross bandage. So, of course, I actually told her. You were indeed wearing a gross bandage. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a gross bandage, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. See, I fucking knew it. GG Papyrus. Thanks for ruining my life. Useless mold small. Can we continue? What's that? Prior to take their souls. This is the part that the humans feared. Yeah, I know that. Oh, hello, Onion Sun. I'm gonna try and copy a voice someone else did for him. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. Hey there, now that you were here. I'm Onion Sun, Onion Sun here. You're visiting Waterfall. Oh, it's a great place here. I love it. Huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. <laughs> Even though the water is a little shallow here, well, I have to sit down all the time. But hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. <laughs> and the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's yeah, okay though, I'm right here. I'm just gonna fix everything here. I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. Here. Hey there, that's the end of the room. I'll see you around. Have a good day. Time and whatever. I don't know. I don't know what what the fuck. Don't don't ask me. Sharon hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Let's hum. You hum a sad song. Sharon follows your melody. Sire, sire, see me, see me. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. I'm gonna continue. You hum some more. Monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a concert. Si fa si fa si so fa so mi re. Oh yeah. Sans is selling tickets made of toilet paper. Amazing. I'm gonna continue. You hum some more. The seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. Me so me so me so me see me melt something. I did not make it. The crowd tosses clothing. It's a storm of socks. I'm some more. Put a con. Put a constant attention. The tours. The groupies. It's all. Aggressive tooting. Sharon thinks about her future. You and Sharon have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You have a farewell song. Final toot. Wow. Bruh. You won. Okay. Sharon is famous. Okay, I know this. I'm gonna actually see what I can do with this. It's a statue. Structures that seem very dry. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Because now I know that that's the music they meant. And I'm gonna try to recreate it which because I forgot how. Put the umbrella on the statue, yes. Dun 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 
Okay. Let's try to recreate it. There's a piano here. Play it. Yes. Wait, wait, how many notes do I need? I got four, I think. Hackers down the corner, won't you play along? Only the first eight, I see. That's not right. Come on. Yes. Damn it. Is that right? That's not. I was almost right. It sounded right. No. Yes. Neutral. Up. Up. Neutral. Wait. 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 Made up. Yeah, it does sound kind of like, but they all sound like it. Come on, the thing I did should be acceptable as well. Uh, let's use our dog residue. Info, annoying dog, dog, a little white dog. It's fast asleep. What if I? Okay, so it's only if I'm here. Yeah, I just use it. Fuck it. It applied the dog. Thank you for absorbing the fucking artifact. <laughs> That's bullshit though, come on. It does work. Oh my god. Uh, oh well. We'll... Fine. If you say so, I want to get to a save point. Take one. I think there was a save point right before this. I am not quite certain. Probably was. Hello, Monster Kid. Yo! You got an umbrella! Awesome! Let's go! Ha ha ha. You're still not under my umbrella. <laughs> you got fucked. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella. Adine is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed before her every night, every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> Can I just get the fuck out of here now? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower, the king. We had to call him Mr. Dreamer. He volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching this class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> I don't think she would do that. Um, uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Okay, this is the... 
the castle. I don't give a fuck, mate. <laughs> I'm gonna deploy the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Can I jump on you? Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Why do I have to put it? Oh well. There we go. Yo! You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. And yeah, that's gonna be the scene, scene where Undyne talks. But I'm gonna save first. And end this right here. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Wonder what it said when I did not activate the music box. I don't know. Well, um, I'll end this right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, slap that like button as hard as you can. And I'll see you next time. So have a great day. Bye-bye.